Well, here it is. The front big brake upgrade kit. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video on this LCE Performance or LC Engineering uh, Performance Brake Kit. This is the front big brake upgrade kit. It's intended for Tacomas uh, years 95 to 2004 with a six lug bolt pattern. Um, I'm going to attempt to put this on my 2000 Toyota 4Runner and it should be a complete bolt on kit. It's, uh, my understanding this is a, uh, it's equivalent to a Tundra. Uh, swap or Tundra upgrade kit which uses um, approximately the same year uh, I can't remember the exact range 2005-2006 Toyota Tundra brakes and it bolts up to the um, Tacomas and 4Runners of the uh, approximately the same generation as well as the previous generation and years. This kit was delivered to my house for just under $610. Shipping was about $35 and the product itself was about $575. I ordered it on Wednesday and these two boxes arrived the following Friday um, which uh, it was a three-day shipping UPS ground so that was within that three-day period. Uh, this last package uh, was late it was delivered the following Monday which would have been uh, you know Saturday should have been on time and then Monday would have been late. I don't know if you want to consider Sunday as a shipping day in there uh, and it did say that that uh, delivery was late due to weather and we did test any inclement weather at that time. Without further ado, let's get to unboxing these. And so we've got a 2017 catalog. Got a white box. Uh, in this box, looks like we've got some uh, Toyota factory uh, fittings. Looks like some brackets to hold the brake lines. A couple of hard lines, and these look like they are genuine Toyota parts, so uh, definitely like that. We've got some Hawk uh, race proven uh, brake pads. Probably going to say this wrong. Furrow carbon with a thank you note in there. That's it for that box. Um, one thing I was surprised with was the uh, three packages. I kind of expected this to come in one box, and looking on the boxes, uh, it did come from two different locations. So. Um, this, this box came from LC Engineering um, out of Arizona and this was one pound. This box also came from LC Engineering, uh, same location, eight pounds. Uh, again, these arrived uh, different days. Uh, this arrived on a Friday and this arrived on a Monday. And this box um, came from Fast Mission Gorge out of San Diego, California. So I didn't really realize that it was coming from different locations. I believe this is the rotor. So let's go ahead and open that and take a look. So this is actually calipers. And these things are beefy and heavy. Uh, these are a centric parts, and I'll go ahead and throw up part numbers for all these in case anybody wants to, to shop around and see if it's cheaper to get um, individually. But this was definitely, for me, this kit, uh, you know, 600 bucks around there, and uh, shipped my door. I didn't have to go around searching, I didn't have to go to a junkyard and, and find the calipers and go to a parts store and find the, the rotors I wanted. or the dealership or whatever else so for me this kit um, just fit the bill a little bit uh, less less uh, hassle and less work 
Lastly, let's open this one. Um, these are going to be the brake lines. So with this, I did get a uh, three inch extended brake line. They give you the option of a zero inch, three inch, and six inch extended brake lines. And so I did opt for that uh, since I do have a three inch lift. So there are the brake lines with uh, LCE performance written on them at uh, three inch extended length. So that's what I ordered. Give you a closer look at these parts individually so you can see uh, what they look like. Okay, I've got everything out of its bags. Um, three brake lines. We've got two hard brake lines, probably I would assume are left and right. These brackets are right and left. Um, the caliper, we've got a 1.6 and a 1.5, so right and left. These are the S13WE. Um, these Hawk uh, brake pads, a little bit disappointed here. We've got some scuffing on most of these going down. I'm not sure if that's the river making process or what that caused those scratches there, but those are kind of dinged up. Uh, they did come with a grease pack. We've got these two uh, brake line clips and uh, stickers and the thank you note. So I've got uh, two gripes with this kit um, in the unboxing here. Um, first off, it doesn't include a installation manual or instructions. Uh, it should be a pretty straightforward swap but it's still nice to always have that. I believe they do have a PDF online, so I'll have to take a look at that. The other gripe is uh, the rotors are not here yet. Uh, this kit came with the drilled and slotted rotors, and I'm assuming due to severe weather conditions, they're still delayed, um, but uh, they are not here, and it's been a week tomorrow since I ordered this, and it should have been three-day shipping, so um, no big deal. Uh, well, I guess it would have been a big deal. I was planning on installing these last weekend. So I ordered them Wednesday. I was hoping to have them Friday or Saturday and install them. So that would have been a big deal. Um, I'm going to do a combo video with another YouTuber. But uh, it's a good thing we waited. And we're planning on doing it this weekend. So hopefully those rotors arrive before this weekend comes. So let's... Uh, my only gripes, you know, not saying that's a huge deal, but uh, just trying to let everyone know kind of my experience. Not saying that should be the normal experience to expect, but, uh, you know, stuff happens, and that's uh, the way it happened for me. So, uh, like I said, I'm really impressed uh, with the Genuine Toyota uh, parts here, the brackets and stuff like that. Really impressed with that. We'll see how these Hawk um, brake pads go. Uh, same with these calipers. Okay, here I've got the fourth and last package for this uh, LCE uh, Performance uh, Brake Upgrade Kit. Um, I believe these are the rotors that uh, were missing. So these arrived on Wednesday, and so that would be a week from when I ordered them. I ordered them on Wednesday, and they arrived on Wednesday. One thing I did notice on the side here is the ship from location has been cut off, so that's uh, not visible on the package. There's no return address only the ship to address so if this got lost they wouldn't know where to send it back to but it also uh, doesn't allow us to see where it came from like those other packages let's go ahead and take a look here and see what it looks like okay one thing we were missing before was uh, installation procedure this does come with a brake rotor installation procedure with wheel lug nut torquing. This looks like a very generic one and actually shows a, a five lug pattern rather than a six lug like this is. So not necessarily uh, you know, an exact application match for the the Tundra upgrade or the big brake upgrade as LCE calls it, but it uh, at least does show something there. <clears throat> Looks like these are wrapped in paper. They are drilled and slotted. Looks like we've got a number number etched in right here. Um, I'm not sure if this is powder coated black or if they've been painted. I'm not sure if this will come off once the uh, brake use begins. We'll have to take a look at that. It 
notes I get in this box. This is definitely a heavy box. Um, and this one also has a number etched into it. Uh, C344118. And then like a little dash L thing. That's that left hand, I would assume that's left hand side. C34418R. So left and right. Um, box is actually in pretty good condition for carrying something so heavy. Uh, box says they are 43 pounds. So, well, there you go. That's, uh, there's the missing rotors. <laughs> These things are heavy. Well, thanks for watching this unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to the future install video and uh, follow up review on the performance of the upgraded brakes.